Aries, hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to your general love reading for April 19th of 2023. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones and your pets. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. It's good to see you. I hope you're feeling good. Hope you got good energy. What's that on my chin? I thought I had something on my chin. Thought it was. Don't pay me no mind. What's going on with my Aries in love? Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. That's cool. You know I love pets. So some of you animals, I hate calling them pets, animals rather. Um, some of you, you're getting closer to your animal, your dog, your cat, your iguana. Others of you, maybe you're thinking about getting a pet or a loved one, right? I like to call them loved ones. Furry friends. That's cool. I don't know how anybody could live with that, like, and not come home to like a cat or a dog. Oh, moving. Change of residence, moving in with your partner. Some of you guys are moving. Some of you might be moving in with somebody you've been dealing with, or you just may be moving, period. Oh, you got a spy here, Aries. Someone is spying on you. Someone is doing their research. You are, someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Some of you may be spying on somebody yourself, right? Love spell. Oh, somebody feel like you put a love spell on them. Gold digger on the bottom. Be careful of people that want you for your money or your status, right? Patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. So your angels are like, just be more patient, Aries. Things are falling into place. Okay, a lot of you that are single, maybe you're still trying to manifest love. The universe is like, give it some time. Trust us. Move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. There's somebody that can't move on from you, possibly another fire sign. Okay, a lot of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Oh, Aries, guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. Wow, I love when this card comes out. And I've been connecting to a lot of, it's a new thing now. I've been connecting a lot to people who have transitioned. So it's pretty interesting. Because um, I remember when I got like, my first real like super astrology slash psychic reading, the reader was like, oh, you have Mercury and Scorpio? I'm like, oh, what the hell does that mean? I didn't know. You know what I mean? But she was like, oh, none of the people who have that, they can communicate with people who have crossed over. So, and I have it in my 12th house as well, which has to do with, you know, the other side. So, um, yeah, somebody's coming through here that passed away. They are around you. I'm getting in some mother energy or a female, aunt, a grandmother, great-grandmother. Some of you may have more than one. A lot of you Aries, you have like a very strong lineage, okay? Um, yeah, but this, this loved one is coming through for you. They're around you. Uh, you can feel this person a lot. Some of you, this person tries to keep like gold diggers away from you or people that just want you, like want to use you or people that want you for the wrong reasons, uh, this guardian is always like uh, giving you all types of messages, communicating with you intuitively, telepathically, like just trying to uh, warn you and um, give you a lot of messages. This person is also very protective of you. May I get a card on that guardian? A lost loved one watches over you. Let go. So this lost loved one doesn't want you to hold on to like how they passed away, what happened. Like they want you to live your life. They want you to be free. For some of you, it's like you, um, you know, this this loved one is always with you, but it's like it's like a part of you. I don't want to say doesn't live life. It's like there's a part of you that still kind of holds back a bit because of this person passing. Okay. So this person wants you to. I'm seeing a butterfly reference too. I don't know what that means okay let's see this person that's been spying on you and i'm so sorry for your loss aries i love you guys okay someone else someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this so some of y'all may have a third party situation going on some of y'all may have spied and found something out about somebody and found out there was somebody else in the middle or somebody was trying to sabotage something between you and somebody else a lot of you need to be careful of narcissists too Someone is too full of themselves. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who's kind of stuck up, full of themselves, narcissistic. Look out for that. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Let me see the love spell card. Good to see you, Aries. Happy birthday, Aries, too. You guys, yeah, it's still Aries season. So happy birthday. I mean, I think we're getting ready to go into uh, Taurus now. But um, happy birthday, Aries, if I miss anybody's birthday. Liar, be careful of someone sneaky. You need to be careful. You keep showing me like time. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. I feel like some of you guys are waiting on clarity and you're going to get the clarity that you need. Show me the patience card. Date night. Some of y'all need to be patient. You're going to be going on a pretty hot date. Get ready to be wine and dine. Okay. And some of y'all that like to wine and dine, you going to wine and dine. You heard? Let me see the move on card. Someone is unavailable. Who can't move on from you? Divorce. Somebody that broke up with you. Okay. Could be some of somebody you divorced or somebody you're going through a breakup with or you broke up with. It's an ex clearly and they can't move on. And let me get a card on the fire sign. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Somebody's coming back, Aries. Some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Make sure you're taking care of your health. This is calling out to me, Aries, seeing something with some of you with your health. So make sure that you are, you know, on it, taking your vitamins, your supplements, your medications, you know, prescribed medications. If you are on those, make sure you're eating right. You know what I mean? If you know Aunt Ray Ray, you know, uh, you know, Aunt Ray Ray got that diabetic gene. Stop eating 12 brownies at night. Not saying you're going to get it, but why would you want to, you get what I'm saying? Encourage it. So that's, I'm getting strongly for a lot of you Arians. Okay. Let's see. Make sure you guys hit that like button now. Show your girl some love. It's good to see you Aries. Show your girl some love. Leave me a comment if you feel comfortable. Let me know what you think of the reading, if it resonates in your situation, your story. If you want to, make sure you subscribe, tell a friend, all right? Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I was wondering why it seems so dark. It's because I don't have those lights on. I just realized that I don't have like my bright, bright lights on. So that's why I look a little bit, um, like it looks a little bit dim. Sorry about that. In the extended, I'll turn it on. All right, let's see. What's going on with Aries? What else do we have for my Arians? If you guys would like to book an emergency personal reading with me, that's all I'm accepting at this time because I'm pretty booked up <laughs> until the end of the year for personal readings, uh, regular readings. But if you do want to purchase a or book a emergency reading with me, you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com and we will get you booked. Idealism. All right, I'm seeing the number 11. And some of y'all have uh, dealing with an Aquarius seeing the number six. Some of y'all may be born April 6th, April 11th, April 10th. Control, criticism. You got a lot of people that talk like, try to criticize you and influence. You got to be careful of snakes too around you, Aries. Fake people. But you, you are in control with the emperor card here. I call that the emperor card because it says control. Yeah, but you see the criticism? People be trying to criticize you too much. Some of y'all may be the person you dealing with. You know what I mean? Nobody don't want to deal with that. Innovation. Some of y'all got some new business ideas and that's going to actually work out in your favor. Especially those of you that got like business ideas that are different with the Aquarian energy there. Yeah. Enterprise, negotiation, and independence. Yeah. Some of y'all about to start your own business or you, you have your own business generosity here birth yeah oh wow discovery oh yeah something big so if you were aries and you've been working on like some type of business thing a new business like you're birthing something new you need to go for it for sure show me um oh yeah decision popped out decision flattery indecision manipulation and detachment the hell is this about decision indecision you're trying to decide here about somebody. If somebody, if you need to detach from somebody because they're manipulative or if you should stay around, there's something you're very indecisive about. You got decision and indecision and it threw itself at me. What else is going on with Aries in love? Isolation. Who are you isolating yourself from? Some of y'all, somebody isolating themselves from you could be a Virgo. Risk is here resourcefulness. Who is this person that you isolating yourself from? Versatility, resistance. It's hard. Devotion. 
risk. Risk again. There's somebody you're keeping your distance from because you feel like it's a risk. Could be another Aries here because this is risk card here. Aries energy got Libra. What else do we have for Aries? And we'll go into the tattoo. Exaltation. Bluff. Optimism. Wow, your energy feels good. Loss. You feel like you took a loss in some way. In what way? Some, some of y'all with your career, you got publicity here on the bottom. Some of y'all feel like you took a public loss or some type of loss in front of people. Like, why? Originality. People want you to be original. People want you to be, okay, so people want you to be the same like everybody else, but you're different. Eccentric is here with originality. You don't want to be like everybody else. So some of y'all, maybe you quit a job. Like I'm looking at some, there's an Aries that's like, F this job. I'm about to start my own thing. Like I got my own ideas. Like I'm seeing the number 11 again. 11, 11 is here. Look at the top. 11, 11, originality. Anything else for Aries? And we're going to the tarot, baby. Flirtation. Ooh, somebody like you. Who is this? Could be a Sagittarius. Organization, inspiration. You inspire. Somebody got a crush on you. Sun and Aries is here. They like your assertion. They like how you assert yourself. They like how you go after what you want. They're inspired by you. They like your life. They think that you have money with the richest card, or they think that you're just very financially stable, very abundant. Who is this person? Wow. They got a crush on you. Discrimination. Could be a Virgo. Whoever they are, they feel like if they if they get with you, it's going to be a lot of haters or it's going to be a lot. Of, yeah, could be a Scorpio for some of you. Extremism here, quarrel. It's like this person feels like if you and them get together or if you and them are together, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be an argument or something like that. Companionship. Yeah, it's somebody that they could be flirting with you or they want to flirt with you or they just really like you. They got a crush on you. But discrimination came out. Maybe for some of you, you and this person may be different race. And they think people may, may hate or different age. Discrimination can be, you know, a lot of different things, different religions. All right. What does the tarot have for my Aryans? My Aryans. Make sure you guys check out the description box below. It's a lot of information there as far as how to connect with me. All of my social media pages, my Instagram, my Twitter. And uh, I'm verified on Twitter now. So I'm very... I feel very special, you know what I'm sorry. No, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, but I'm like, it is what it is, you know? I just want to spread the good news, you know what I'm saying? So check out the description box. I also have my new um, partnership with the jewelry company, Anna Luisa. I have on a few of the pieces now. I have on the Tia hoops and um, a few of the bracelets. Y'all know I love my bangles, my bracelets. So please check it out and check out some of the pieces. Maybe you can buy some for your mother, your aunt, your sister, your great grandma. You know what I mean? Your girl, your wife. Check out the uh, website. They have some beautiful pieces on there. And I also have a promo code for 20% off. So check that out. That's pretty dope. You know your girl going to come through. You know your girl going to come through and give you something now. Who don't like a little bit of free something? Aries, what's going on with you in love? How does this person feel about you? The three of swords. Whoa, did you see that pop out? Somebody feels like you put their heart in a blender and hit frat pay. Somebody feels heartbroken. Whoa, your cards are crazy. The seven of pentacles hit the floor. Patience. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody feels like you broke their heart. You hurt them. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all, it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all, is somebody you're in a relationship with. One more card, please. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors, for being with us today. The Seven of Cups. Ooh. Three of wands in reverse here. Somebody feels like things are stuck between you and them. I see them fantasizing about you. Um, they feel hurt. They feel betrayed. For some of you, they feel betrayed. 
How do you feel about this person, Aries? What are your feelings? Page of Pentacles. Okay. That's an important conversation, face-to-face -face conversation, peace offerings. Okay. The Two of Cups in Reverse. Oh, boy. So this connection has taken some hits. The Five of Swords in Reverse. The Devil. Oh, my God. Capricorn Energy. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. The Mutual Energy. I don't like that. That's betrayal, cheating, deception, lying. What the hell happened here? Sneaky behavior. Because your person might be looking at other options with the seven of cups. This is crazy. The devil is here. So some of y'all may view this person as toxic. You may view this person as or this connection as being somewhat unhealthy with the devil being here. It is the only major arcana card on the table. Um, somebody might have some addictions. Let's see the three of swords. Oh, wait, we're going to wait to clarify their energy in the extended. We're going to do yours. Why the page of pentacles? Why is your energy the page of pentacles towards this person? The emperor in reverse. That's you. Why are you in reverse, though? I don't like when you in reverse. Justice in reverse. Whoa. With the king of swords in reverse. Whoa. What happened here? Did somebody try to apologize for doing some F shit? Somebody tried to apologize. You could be dealing with a Libra or another Aries. The justice in reverse can even mean a divorce for some of you. Somebody tried to take your power. Let me see the two of cups in reverse. Six of wands in reverse, Aries, and the judgment. You came to a realization about something. And it has to do with this connection with this person. Six of wands in reverse felt like it wasn't going in a positive direction. Wasn't, you know? Let me see the five of swords. There could have been some type of conflict. Five of swords in reverse. Four wands in reverse. That's Aries and Venus. A lot of y'all got Venus and Aries. Death in reverse. So you're not throwing in the towel just yet. Scorpio energy. But you do look very stressed out about the situation. Nine of swords, Aries. I see you like, I don't want to fight. I don't want no drama. I don't want to play mind games. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Spirit is saying to shuffle again. Okay. Why is the devil here? Some of you dealing with a Capricorn, Scorpio, uh, Libra, another Aries, the Hierophant. Some of you dealing with a Taurus. The Queen of Wands with the Six of Pentacles here. So this might be somebody you're in a relationship with. For some of you with the Hierophant here or a marriage or somebody you were very committed to. It's like you're seeing a relationship turning kind of toxic. With the devil or some type of marriage or commitment. Some of y'all, something happened with a third party. Anything else for Aries' current feelings towards this person? Nine of Wands in reverse. Why? The Ace. Some of y'all want something new. The Tower. Oh my God. Something big happened here. The Tower is about like a whole new foundation. Things crumbling with weak foundations, things coming down, 
people play the universe intervening and removing people, places, and things that are not supposed to be there. A lot of y'all got Scorpio on your chart. Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. And others of you, maybe this is you trying to revive the passion back in this connection. But with the nine of wands in reverse, that's usually my card of ready to throw in the towel. Like you've been through enough here. Why is the seven of swords the mutual energy between you and this person? Four of pentacles in reverse. The lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. This don't look good, Aries. Somebody cheated, somebody was deceptive, somebody did some sneaky stuff. And it messed up the connection here. Your person still seems like they want to invest in you. They, they do have options here. And they are hurt by what is currently happening. Let's see what's in their subconscious, Aries. Somebody just got paid because that song is playing. I haven't, I haven't heard that song in years. What is in this person's subconscious in regards to the way they feel about Aries? So Aries, we're going to go to the extended now. All right. If you guys would like to join me there and you feel like the reading has been resonating, the link is below. It will take you over to Vimeo. In the extended, we're going to go ahead and clarify your person's current energy. We're going to go ahead and reveal their hidden truth messages, what's in their subconscious in regards to the way they feel about you. And then we're going to go ahead and get you some um, to see their future actions, to see what you can expect from this person in the future, Aries, what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. Then we'll go ahead and pull you some advice to see how you should proceed moving forward and overall dealing with this person and in love. All right. So I hope to see you guys in the extended. Like I said, the link is below. You can join me there. It will take you over to Vimeo. If not, thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe, comment, share. Please tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. Leave me a comment if the reading resonated, if it made sense. Talk to me. I love talking to you guys. Thank you for all your support, Aries. I love you. Shout out to all the members. Thanks for all your continuous support and how the membership family continues to grow. And please make sure you check out my new astrology page through Patreon. The link is in the description box if you want to learn about your rising sign, your birth sign, your Venus. And basically your destiny, your purpose, Aries, as to why you're here. We're going to take a look at your birth chart and we're going to learn it together. So check out the Patreon page that I have in the description box below. Shout out to all the new Patreoners and thanks for your continuous support or your donations, your super chat, super thanks, um, your uh, cash apps. You guys are amazing and I love you. And I will see you guys in the extended. All right. If not, I'll see you next time, Aries. And you guys have a blessed week and tell somebody you love them because Miss Hawaii surely loves you. Bye.